Hello everyone, welcome back again. In this video, we will look at setting up Visual Studio Code for Java development. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get to it then. As you can see, I've got Visual Studio Code opened, right? To be able to, to start running your Java projects inside of Visual Studio Code, there are certain few steps that we need to take, yeah? First of all, we have to click this extension button, yeah? And then this is what we have to do. We have to type in Java here. So as you can see, we've got this results here. So we have to look for the Java extension pack, yeah? And what we click on it. So this is what opens. So we install the Java extension pack here, yeah? which actually in turn installed this bunch of packages as well. So it actually installs the Visual Studio Code IntelliCode, yeah? Um, the Marvin for Java and a couple of extensions as well, yeah? So this uh, this might take a while, but it's actually installed here. Yeah? So as you can see, we've got all the other packages installed. So what we have to do next is also install JDK if we haven't. But obviously we can install this, we can do this directly if you're actually installing the Visual Studio Code, yeah? This is what you have to do. So yeah, we have to Google uh, um, Visual Studio Code Java Pack Installer, yeah. So that's the first result, yeah. So this will be under code.visualstudio.com, yeah. So basically, this is what we have to install, yeah? So I'm actually using Windows, so we have, I have to install the, the Windows version of it. There, there is Mac OS as well, so I'm going to close the um, Visual Studio Code. Then I will install the, the Windows version of mine. So we've got the download successful. We can click on the open file. Yeah, so now obviously we can accept the terms and click on the next. So basically this is what we actually get. So, so this is the required components. So the Java development kit, the JDK, is not available at the moment. So it's going to be installed. And as you, we've actually noticed, I've already got Visual Studio Code installed. So this, this will be the actions that will be performed. It, it's actually going to download and install the JDK, configure the Java settings, and install the Java extension, the um, Java extensions, right? So we're just going to install. So obviously this might take a while, so I'm just going to pause the video while the whole thing gets started up. So now, as you can see, we've actually got the installation successful, so we're just gonna click on the finish to relaunch the Visual Studio. So now, now that we've got actually got the Visual Studio code opened, there's a, there are some few stuff that we're gonna do. We have to actually press um, Control Shift P to bring out the command. Yeah. So now what we do is we're just going to type um, the Java colon configure Java runtime. Yeah. So we press Enter. We type that and we press Enter. So this is what actually will open. So we've got actually the configure Java runtime side here. So basically, if you don't have the JDK installed here, so you could do that, yeah? But if you've actually got it started, there's no need for that, all right? So you can also look at the Java tooling runtime here. So basically, this is where we've actually got the location of our JDK. It's not, it's not necessarily important, but obviously, just say no. And then, this is the JDK installed on our system right so if we look on the right here the java tools so here you can create a new project you can open an existing project or you can click here to take a tour if you don't really understand what is actually going on right so if we click on the create a new project here as you can see here now this this um these are the examples of the projects that obviously you can create yeah so obviously you can create marvin and whatnot projects yeah but obviously we're not looking into that too much 
So if you if this is what you're looking for, then you can you can go ahead from here, right? So what we do next is we're just going to come to, we're just gonna come to this this side, yeah. And we're going to add a new folder, or we're going to create a folder. We're going to open a folder. Oh, just one sec. Okay, so here, what we do is, we're going to add a new folder. We're just going to call it my app. Yeah? So inside, we just click on the my app to expand it, yeah? So inside of my app, yeah, you just right click and then new file. Yeah? So this is the file we're gonna create. We're just gonna create hello dot java uh, we just press enter so the, the hello java dot java is actually created for us so i'm just gonna i'm just gonna bring it up here yeah so that's that's what we've actually got created here now so i'm just gonna put a very quick stuff here we're just gonna write um we're going to create a very quick class yeah then we're going to create a very quick main method inside a class and we're just going to print out we're just going to print out hello world Yeah, so that's all we're going to do here for now. So to be able to run the, the project for the first time, obviously, you can actually click on it here. See on top here. So this will actually run the program. Or you can click on the debug here. Or you can, you can click on this here, this play button here, and this will pop up. Yeah, run Java or debug your app. So we're just going to use this bit here. So basically, the output will actually be displayed down here. So as you can see, uh, hello world is actually displayed here. Yeah, so it's not very difficult to actually get yourself started, yeah? So we can also look at creating our project templates by just clicking on this. Yeah, so here now, this one, this is a template type that obviously you can, you can create, you can, you can click here more then you can type anything. I mean, I'm just going to make a quick example. So, so here you can set the destination of the project. I'm just going to put it inside here. So as you can see, the terminal is already being used. So obviously, just for the 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 my app the J, I mean the Java that I just created for this example, but. As you can see, yeah, that's how you get about with it. So I'm just going to leave the video here for now. So on my next video, we look at doing other stuff on Visual Studio Code. So once again, if you've not subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do because I've got lots of videos coming up. And I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Peace.